Antigua Winds is a company that is near and dear to my heart. Mostly it's known for the power belt, but did you know there's some other horns there? Speaking of, it's a company that's also been around here in San Antonio, Texas for almost 25 to 30 years. So let's talk about one of my personal favorites, the Model 25. Hello everybody, my name is Andrew King. I am here at Alamo Music here in downtown, beautiful San Antonio. Uh, don't forget to leave a like, it does help us in the long run. And if you could, visit us at alamomusic.com where we have all of these instruments available for purchase and for your perusing. Well, today I am talking about an instrument that I personally enjoyed a lot. This is the Model 25 from Antigua Winds. Uh, Antigua Winds is a company that we distribute for, so just given the forewarning there, but that does not take away from the quality or anything I'm going to say as far as the review of this saxophone. It is absolutely one of the better saxophones that have come through here. Uh, it is directly made in Taiwan through a company called Antigua Winds. That is a brand directly down from a company called Reliance. Reliance is a company that basically is a giant OEM, basically makes parts for everybody, and this is kind of their house brand of saxophones. Uh, the Model 25 in particular is a near and dear to my heart because this instrument has a lot of really cool functions for a price point that is actually kind of ridiculous. Um, with rolled tone holes, just like a Yamaha Custom, a nice board neck, not as big as the Power Bell, which honestly, in my opinion, can be a good thing, especially for anyone who's playing, wanting to play any kind of versatile playing on a tenor saxophone, um, and with a really unique um, approach to the lacquer process. This instrument has tons of great value points and it plays fantastically. So let's talk about my first favorite thing, the rolled tone holes. Now you usually are going to see this on instruments like the Yamaha Custom Series, the 82Z and the 875EX. The reason this for this is because when you press down on these rolled tone holes, there's a lot more surface area around the tone hole uh, it basically makes it so that easier, it's easier to press down and much easier to blow through, uh, in my opinion. I've, once I've played this instrument, I've compared it to other instruments, say like my Yamaha uh, 61 or uh, any of the newer instruments that are coming out as well, this kind of thing really gives a lot of sturdiness to that sound. It, it's, very easy, uh, f easy, it's an easy response instrument for sure. Um, and, and honestly, with the road tone holds, it does give a kind of... Uh, it's a lot less, it's harder to damage that area, in my opinion, as well. Uh, so you get a lot out of that. Um, the other cool approach that this instrument has, it is definitely more of a heavy set instrument. You get a lot more um, projection out of it because of that. Uh, it's not spread out or anything like that. And because of the, the neck and the neck profile, as far as the bore goes, it's super easy to have a nice, strong, focused tone that goes straight through. A uh, great cutting instrument in that respect as well. You're not going to be too spread out or anything like that. Um, because of that, a lot more instruments these days are going a lot for a lot of the more kind of French school of thought instruments. The, they're going for more of a lighter instrument uh, and heading that way. And while those instruments are almost perfectly perfectly intonated and whatnot, this instrument, because of its weight, it, it really does feel like a, like it, you're not going to hurt it while you're playing it or anything like that. Uh, you get a lot of longevity out of it, too. You're not going to have to go to your tech every, you know, every six months or something like that. Uh, the instrument just holds together very well. Um, as far as anything else goes, too, the lacquer finish on it is actually kind of unique. So the unlacquered finish, which is going to be the one we're going to look at, is also treated in a very special way with a cryogenic for treatment. During the lacquering process, or the lack thereof, there's going to be a basically a freezing period where the Antigua Winds freezes the instrument and sets it up so that it, it basically has that really nice uh, matte finish look. Um, but it's more like a misty effect on the brass. I really enjoy the look it has when it has its etchings as well. It's very, very smooth across it. It feels like a very complete saxophone in that respect. Um, it's personally one of my favorite looking aesthetics. I really always look, love the kind of classic antique with the unlacquered finish. Um, those have always been one of my personal favorites. It gives it kind of like a mystique to it. And because of the kind of that misty feeling it gets from that lacquer finish with the cryogenic freezing, uh, it just looks awesome. 
Uh, this, um, the instrument does come in multiple finishes, which you can check out on our website on alamomusic.com um, and see what you like. There's tons of different options available. Um, this Model 25 is actually a celebration model. Uh, it just did so well and was revered so well from its artists and players around uh, that they just kept it going. Uh, the Model 25 has a lot of uh, borrowed ideas from a lot of, like, say, Yanagasawa. Uh, there, I think the uh, palm keys are very uh, reminiscent of those. Uh, also, the uh, road tonals, like I was telling you about before, are very much borrowed from Yamaha. So you get a lot of that. And because of the neck profile, you get a lot of that free-blowing aspect uh, with it, too. So there's a lot of borrowed ideas here as far as a Taiwanese instrument goes. Um, and they're just made extremely consistently. I played through about three or four of them in my time here while I've been working, and they've all been fantastic, uh, very good playing. Uh, so they're coming from a great company, uh, very near and dear to my heart, who we do work with uh, as well. So I do enjoy them. Um, so let's go ahead and check out the saxophone. Let's listen to it. Check, tell me what you think. Leave a comment when you can. I would love to hear what you think of the saxophone, and I'll see you in a little bit. What did you think? Uh, please, again, leave a comment if you can. I would love to hear what you think of the saxophone. I really enjoy the aesthetics of it the most. Uh, the aesthetics as far as the floral markings and whatnot, and because of the kind of the treatments it gets as far as the lacquering process and a lot of the more modern amenities that it has, it just plays great all the way around. I really enjoy the intonation. It really does feel like I can punch it. It goes. I, it's not like I... I play really loud or anything and I kind of spread out or anything. It's a very strong focused tone. Uh, it's just a great tool. I, I, I really enjoy the saxophone for what it does. I think it's one of the more versatile ones that have come through here. Um, so in that respect, I do high, highly recommend it to anyone wanting to go into, uh, especially looking for just an instrument that's going to last them a long time. 
these Model 25s are definitely like those like once in a lifetime kind of partner instruments that I enjoy uh, that we get here in once in a while. So definitely recommend it. Well, either way, thank you so much for watching. Uh, again, you can visit us at alamomusic.com where we have all these saxophones available for purchase. Uh, we also, please leave a like as well. That does help us in the long run, just in case it uh, helps us get better saxophones in and the more interest we get, the better stuff we can do. So thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.